Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Virgo. Alrighty, I missed you guys. Today we're doing a career and money reading dedicated to you guys for and during the month of October 2022. Alrighty, hopefully everybody is doing great. Let's say we're throwing 10 cards to break down elements of a goal or a question into six key segments the what why how and when where and with whom two kings here leading to a knight i love it how does virgo make more money how does virgo find a path for a promotion the best career path or success with a business idea that we have look at those interesting images here so okay some characters we got here we have four uh, six characters kind of thingy here and then it's very Virgo-ish, okay? <laughs> I begin it with the earthy seven of coins that Virgo is in a bit of an exercise of validation. She looks for data, she looks for truth, information. This is a, should I invest or should I not, okay? Or what is the best way that I can secure my investment? What is the best way that I can ensure my success? Okay, so the number seven about validation okay okay and then i glance before i even go this way then i glance at a two of cups up here on the situation note so is virgo is virgo considering their market research remember guys when we say two of cups i fall in love with my market i fall in love with my market by understanding its needs understanding how it demands how can i cater to it and with what frequency and so on and so forth. So when I get a two of cups in the readings we do, it's all about falling in love with your market, which means getting to know them, getting to know you. Okay. So seven of coins, queen of swords. And then I'm looking at, am I ready? It's as if you're asking if the market research exercise to this okay initiative you're trying to create here you're asking if it is valid you're asking if it is real and if it is something you can take action upon and i love a modest and down-to-earth virgo who says my initial action will be to learn or to validate again and i have here the page of swords saying give me the information i'm willing to take it in this time for some reason i'm saying that virgo this time i'm willing to really build it from the ground up this time I'm willing to learn what I need to learn being that page of swords. And the moment I have this kind of clarity, the moment I have certain benchmarks identified, if you will, the moment I know my milestones, what defines success with that idea or with that investment, I'm taking action. I'm inspired to take action. I have a Knight of Wands here, a Knight of Wands that says action that also may inspire others okay why is it all happening what do you have that is going good for you eight of coins the card that speaks to perfection of your skill okay so you are a carpenter you are the best at what you do you are a surgeon you are the best at what you do and you are the best at what you do not necessarily with ego comparisons to others the best at what you do with what god gave you with the tools that you have okay when there's two of you being compared of course you are going to be the best but why because you have used all your potential your skills and your talents therefore maintaining recency guys i've been saying this word a lot lately maintaining recency okay i know i'm the best at what i do but how do i make sure i will remain the best at what i do we look for new knowledge new information things that could change you know what the way you do business and we are on top of them by that i'm speaking technology okay i'm speaking new certifications new regulations things of that nature in other words be ahead of the curve virgo this takes discipline by the way it's an eight of discipline it's an eight of coins it's an eight of i got there not by wishing it i got there by actually being that amazing student i got there by being very committed by focusing on issues without you know what drama for some reason so a three of cups presents you an opportunity it's an it's a collaborative opportunity guys collaboration in my context here could also be collaboration with a new customer 
the term is not always a transaction. I sell something, somebody buys. A lot of times we now resort to those very, very soft ways of saying the same thing when really there's a buyer and there's a seller, but we call it partnership, okay? There is a um, main contractor and then there's a subcontractor and we call that collaboration, okay? So there can be that kind of an opportunity at play here with a three of cups. What it does suggest though is flexibility, is be prepared for others to present input before it's sealed and final. So I wouldn't go packaging, investing in packaging of a particular solution if I still don't know the nature of the demand, if I still need to hear other people's input. So before you package it, let's just make sure that things fit in where somebody is willing to buy from you. Okay, as if to say also, if you're seeking the job, before you frame yourself in only one particular light, get some more input, Virgo, as to what could be the broadest fishing net that you can have, especially if you are job hunting. Now, do I need to say to Virgo, the job hunter, that you need to research the party, the company, where you are going? Do I need to say to you that you impress any hiring manager, when you go sit with them and talk about their market, you know, save for when you are a fresh beginner, okay, where a company is hiring you and they don't expect you to know much, okay? That is one situation. The other situation is when you've had three, four, five years of experience at a certain role, <clears throat> in a certain function, you're expected to know about your market. So even you, Job seekers, know your market, understand its trends. You will impress the higher ups when you know what they are concerned with, when they understand and they could see that you are also right there at the same mind level, mindset. Now you may not be right there at the same authority level, but you're getting there, okay? They see less resistance with you. They see that you are a promotable person. They see that you are a person who can translate dreams into reality all right all right virgo that disciplined and then your timing note says be virgo king of coins what do you want okay be virgo be meticulous pay attention to detail finish up all the studying that you need to do or complete the plan to its minutest detail obviously allowing for input obviously allowing for what you cannot control control your controllables to the most it's kind of like here we know you're good at coaching swimming okay be the best swimming coach we know you're good at fixing fridges be the best know what kind of fridges are out there so you can remain to be the best person who can fix a fridge do you know what i mean control the controllables Let's not worry about others are doing. Let's perfect what Virgo is doing. King of Cups, a little bit of the element of luxury here is the purpose, a little bit of comfort, a little bit of not having to chase things, enjoyment, fulfillment. And then your possibility is you take action in the mode that you designed. So in my humble view, a beautiful, successful exercise of Virgo validating and validating their true value and validating their true value and their true potential and demanding it plus winning it of course okay 10 more let's see what we get here chariot eight of swords hangman temperance all righty i like that we get a ten of swords over your eight of coins because i want to keep honing in on your um skill sets especially if it is if it is you know what having to do with the business plan remember what we said king of coins this one here is bringing up finances this one here is saying to you you're going to be good when you present finances in a clear and easy way how does your idea bring money what does it cost is there any opportunity cost attached to it and so on and so forth all right but let's begin it by saying we have a chariot and we have a person here who is an amazing multitasker right here so you're seeking a leadership role, you're seeking tools, you're seeking funding, you're seeking control of what you can do. Good, we do have tools here. And with the chariot, what's interesting too is you look at this little number here that says seven. Well, that's on top of your seven as well. That was a seven of coins you were looking to ask. 
will I or should I invest or should I not? And then if you get a hint of support, I believe this kind of clears your path. So the path is clear for you to implement your success plan. I like it. Eight of Swords is the second one, also close to our Queen of Swords. It's like a reminder you're advancing based on facts, based on true information, solid information. But you have something amazing going on here, which is you could see things from another viewpoint. And now let's look at a little bit of synchronicity here. So remember when we got the two of cups, I'm saying you fall in love with your market because you do understand it. Here's your two of cups. On top of it is a two of coins. This one here is how do I understand you? How do I see things from your viewpoint? So I love Virgo, the market researcher. I love Virgo, the analytical, who is looking at purchasing or you know behaviors, business behaviors and saying, let me understand you more because the moment you do Virgo, then it doesn't become a question of, will I sell you? Will I connect with you? It becomes a question of, are we the best fit? And now you get a little bit, uh, what's the word? You get to choose, okay? So I love it when the options are in your hands. Good. We have an element of temperance here as the immediate result. And I keep saying, listening to others. What was the opportunity note? three of cups here, which we talked about being inclusive. Here I'm saying to you, you may get insight, okay, as to an additional element to include in your business project idea or in your presentation. And with that new chemistry, with this temperance energy here, you have a more and more solid presentation. Ten of Swords, we said financials need to be recent. You're going to be on top of them. You know how to update them, okay? Opportunity note now is saying it's all about your skill. It's all about the uniqueness of what you do. And it's an eight of cups. So you proceed and you proceed ever so smoothly. Why? Well, because you've done the hard work prior. You've invested in the time you put to research. You've understood the market. So now it's not uh, haphazard or it's, you know what, out of a, a need, an urgency. Now it's proceeding smoothly. We have pressure, but we have the right kind of pressure, the pressure to achieve success, but it's not the desperation, if you will. So that's what I like when I get an opportunity that with a little bit of collaboration may advance, advance ever so smoothly. All right. Long-term decisions, Virgo. That's what we're looking at with the two of coins, long-term decisions that allow you to understand your market more and capitalize on that understanding and capitalize on past efforts as well. And <clears throat> your timing note is interesting. It's a king of wands. So this is one guy who can actually take a chance. This is one guy who I may allow, okay? <laughs> Just kidding, guys, I may allow, who I'm okay with taking a chance. Do you know why? The part about uh, personal skills and asking for help is very, um, vivid, is very, what's the word? Is very, they're very good at it. Let's put it this way. They're very good at asking for help when they need help. They're very good at asking for support when they need support. They also seem to have a way to be able to go back and forth. So do they take chances? Yes. Are they calculated? Yes. But do they fully, fully commit blindly? Nope. They will always leave a door open. Okay. So that's the timing note. It's saying explore, explore, take steps, validate, make sure that the dance is happening, that market, that prospect is dancing back with you. Okay. Dancing back. Okay. The star moment as a purpose. I love it. I love it. I love it. When I began reading guys, I was saying, I want to validate when I get the star, you guys may know what I say, but I say that's a moment of naked truth. Okay. That's a moment of there's no ego here and I'm not going to try to impress so-and-so or so-and-so. I really want to be solid within my own here. This gut feel, I want to feel aligned that I am taking on this investment and I love it. And what was the purpose again? Causing material change. So when you get a five of coins, a five of coins as a second possibility, okay? After the knight of coins was just about to embark we say we have caused the material and financial change 
to the setup that we needed. We are now ready to receive more. We are now placed at a higher standard where you are probably being feared. You're probably being better and more compensated for the investment in yourself. Invest in yourself and you shall be the winner, Virgo. All right, you guys, this was our reading. I hope you guys liked it. And you guys should always know, Virgo, we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.